Hello and welcome to Mindful Eating today. Today, I just want to keep our talking, kind of the presenting, very simple, and have you experience your lunch in a new way. So just covering a couple of the basics for those of you who are brand new to mindful eating. Mindfulness is simply paying attention on purpose in the present moment while suspending judgment. Okay, so we're bringing our body, our mind, our focus our attention to what is going on right here and right now. And that might be contrary to the other times in your life when your mind is thinking of something and your body is here in the present. And the thing that makes mindfulness a little different from present moment awareness, for instance, is this suspension of judgment. So in the context of mindful eating, I might see a beautiful, beautifully decorated cupcake and think, oh, that looks so good. It looks delicious, but oh, I'd be a bad person if I ate it because I'm trying to watch my weight. Or if I have a third helping of that cake, it would be a bad decision and I'm a bad person for choosing that. So suspending judgment is not attributing right or wrong to a particular action or choice. Instead, we're looking at it in a little bit less biased of a view. And what we're doing is seeing how it aligns with our values and what thoughts influence our choices. And even beyond thoughts, um, what sensations we're experiencing in our body, what um, environmental factors are there. There's a lot of different influences of our environment and of our mind that can contribute to our food decisions. And, you know, the folks who design restaurants, <clears throat> menus, grocery stores, they're really geniuses at this. You know, when you're going down the shop, um, you're going to check out at the grocery store and they have all those last minute purchases. <coughs> I, I'm certain there's a science behind it. And I think even the Cornell Food Lab has studied what to put on end caps, you know, what to put at eye level, what to put in that final um, impulsive kind of decisions at the cash register at the end. And so what we're doing here is instead, we're beginning to open the door, awaken our awareness of how we make the food decisions. So today we're just gonna do a mindful eating exercise and eat our lunch. If your organization or you yourself are interested in a longer workshop series, what we do is we take a survey, we each take a survey, which investigates our habits. What are our habits? What are our patterns? It's a very extensive survey. It's like 70 questions. And within this survey, then you get a chance to say, oh, this is a pattern that I may want to change. So for instance, for myself, when I took this um, workshop back in 2016, I noticed that the pattern I wanted to change was eating after 9 p.m. And this still holds true. I'm expecting baby number five. At that time, I was expecting baby number four. And I noticed this pattern um, it really came on when I, the first time I got pregnant and, and has continued all these years of mothering. I noticed that if I was on my main level of my house near the kitchen after 9 PM, I would eat and I'd probably eat something sweet and I probably didn't need it. Right. It wasn't for the calories or nutritional content that I needed that it was more because I was tired, um, uh, because the food was just there and available. So my mindful eating practice was just becoming more aware of this. And that's one thing to know if you notice a habit today, and perhaps it's a habit that you want to change, or maybe you notice a new habit in this upcoming week as you integrate these tools into more meals. If you notice a habit, instead of chiding yourself, instead of changing it right away or saying it has to change right away, continue to be aware, aware of it only bring awareness to it over and over again. And after you're aware of it the first time, bringing awareness to it a second, a third, a fourth time might be actually very easy. 
And then what you might notice is as your practice grows, that habit just falls away. This was actually advice from Osho, a meditation um, teacher from India about smoking. He told somebody who wanted to quit smoking, when you're smoking, bring your full awareness there, the same way we do in meditation. Notice everything about it. Fully be there with the cigarette. Notice its effect on you. And I started doing that um, because at the time I was smoking and I noticed how much I didn't like it. And this can happen. This has happened with, a few, I've ruined a few lunches this way where somebody brings their full attention to their food and they have three bites and they say, I don't like this food. It's too salty. It's disgusting. I actually don't like this flavor. I've just been eating it without thinking for ages. So let's bring our full attention to our food. So the first thing I want us to do is prepare our environment. Set up your space. I want you to really look at your space. Are there things you can move that you can clear away? <clears throat> is there nap a napkin you can put down on your desk or a placemat? Is there a phone you can turn off or make silent? Can you close out an email program? How can you prepare this space so that you can completely focus on your food? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 